In the last seven months, this channel and myself, we have created some pretty incredible builds. It's a little sad to see that this is what my end portal looks like. I think we may have to change that today. So let's get started. I want to start with finding a bit of an open bit of lava to build this on. I think over here will be nice. It's fairly open. I also have downloaded and installed the no fog pack so I can see further. This seems like a good spot. A lot of open lava to die in. It's fairly tall as well, so we, we could we could start building here. I'm gonna need some resources and some more materials. I uh I don't really have a plan for this. So I'm just gonna build a standard pyramid and just design the outside and make the inside hollow. How were the pyramids made as well? That's 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 another good question. I think by aliens personally. Anyways, let's go get some materials. Let's head back and start the build. You know, over the last fair few months, I've spent a lot of time in this nether and it's starting to grow on me. I'm no longer uh, scared. I don't want to use that word, but it is the correct word. I'm not really scared anymore of it. I understand how it works. Just as long as I have a fire resistant potion, which I always have, it's pretty cool. All right, now let's build out until we find the middle of this lava pool and start the frame. Now let's just build up till I think the height that we want this to be. I'm going to say 80 tall. All right, I built the frame. It looks very weird, but it's kind of cool, I guess. All right, let's grab some materials and start filling this thing in. Now that that is done, let's head back and make a netherite hoe, which I don't think I've ever made on this world. I I've definitely made it in my other world, the island, but not in this world, which is a bit, I don't know, embarrassing. Uh, okay. I didn't mean to do that, but that's why we have backups. So let's go get the smithing template upgrade and a netherite piece. I think this is my last netherite. Oh no, I have one more. Uh, and we need the upgrade as well. And now let's go to our tools. Which are still over here. Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> Maybe I don't have any. Oh, yes I do. There it is. Give me that. Let's go transform this into the netherite one. No, that's the wrong one. This, this, and this. Yeah, wow. Well. I can't believe I haven't made one yet. In saying that, I've never had really a reason to make one. All right, let's go enchant it, see what we get. I'm breaking three. Wow, that is tragic. Alright, we've got some other things to put on it. Just a mending and efficiency 5. Now let's head back and get some of the nether warts blocks. Go get some of these materials. Okay, now that we have all this, let's start designing the pyramid with these and the shroom lights, I think. I don't know how I'm going to go about this, so I'm just going to do some random pattern along the outside and hopefully it looks nice. I don't have a lot of faith, but hey, 
Gonna start somewhere, right? Okay, after a lot of procrastinating, I have done one-eighth of the pyramid. I'm actually really happy with that design. I don't know why, but I, I think it looks nice. So we just have to do it to the other seven parts of it. Alright, half of it's done. The back sides uh, still haven't been done, but I'm, I'm getting into the routine. It's getting there. This has taken me a little over three hours, but it's, it's alright. It's fine. Just another four-ish hours to go. I'm also replacing these uh, glowstones that are in these like, little crevices here with the uh, nether warts, which is looking pretty good. I've uh, created like this little pocket here. Um, I was just doing some procrastinating, and I thought that in here, it'd be cool to have a beacon that shoots up to the ceiling or the roof. On all four corners, which means I'm going to have to fight the Wither four more times. Which I think I'm pretty ready for. I don't think it's that hard. Wow, there's a lot of mobs in here. Oh no. Oop, okay. Thanks for taking that shot for me, mate. I don't know how we're going to do this. Let me think of some designs. By the way, we started this at day 1700. And it's now 1800. It's been 33 hours in-game time. I haven't slept. That's how long it's taken for me to build the outside of this pyramid. I haven't even started on the inside yet. <sighs> Alright, let's go get some Wither Skeleton Heads and fight the Withers. It's daylight out here. I don't know how long it's been, but I haven't seen grass. Don't know how many Wither Heads we have here, but we do have a Wither Skeleton Farm, which is a plus side. So let's grab some stuff to go fight these withers. We need four withers, the stars, because we need four beacons. So I'm going to have to go over to the wither farm, get some more skulls, because I only think I have two here, and then probably make the beacons. That should be the outside of the pyramid completed. Then we'll do the inside. So I think we'll do some sort of walls, make it a cylinder inside, and then... Probably split it up to four different biomes and put the portal in the middle. That should be it. Uh, I wonder what this looks like with shaders. I might... Wow, oh, that hurts. I definitely are going to have a headache after that. I'm going to put shaders on and we're going to... We'll see what it looks like with the red. I might take the red off. Definitely a lot better without the red. The red was too dim, so... I don't know. We'll stick with the white. It's pretty cool. Gives it a bit of color. That's all. Okay, so... Now I can't take myself serious with this thing in my head. I'm going to build some strips going either way and probably going to put some glass in it. We'll do the glass effect that was in the Colosseum build that I did in the end where it's like two different layers. So it's like it goes purple, magenta, purple, magenta and it's about seven tall and then you put some bottom lighting underneath it. It's a bit complicated, you gotta dig down, but I think if I just fill this all with sand and dig down, it will uh, should come out pretty fine.
I've made a little mock-up nether portal. And, dude, can you just leave me alone? Please. I'm so sick of dealing with you guys. Keep falling in the pits while I'm trying to place glass. Oh. Alright, that's a little mock-up. So we'll do a four-way nether portal. The floors look pretty... Mate, really? Let's... Oh, just give me a break. I'm gonna... I'm just leaving. I'm not wasting any. And there's more over there. There's more there. Just get me out of here. Get me out of here. Alright, for the inside, I think I'm gonna do a cylinder design with quartz. Build it up a little bit. Four different biomes. The nether biomes. So let's go get the materials from them biomes now. Now let's head over to the Crimson Forest. Let's grab some of these. I think I just need the shrooms, right? I think I can just bone meal everything, which is pretty satisfying about the forest ones. All right, now that that's done, let's go to the basalt biome. I think there's one over here somewhere. Uh, I already have a ton of basalt, so it's, I'm not really too phased. I just need some normal blackstone because all mine has been turned into bricks. And I think magma cubes or magma blocks spawn here as well, right? Now to find, last but not least, the warped forest biome, which I don't know where- Oh, is that it? I think I've seen it. Yes. Alright, let's grab some of this and head back. Okay, let's start with replacing this into obsidian. Alright, that's done. Now to get started on the circle. I really don't like doing circles in Minecraft. Got myself some grey concrete just to do a base layer. Uh, I've also made some pillars and a little walkway. I also have an outline as well now. So let's get the circle done. We'll like this. Now to get started with the circle, so let's do a quick little circle, and then we'll do quartz on top. Okay, so next I want to take the top of the cylinder and kind of bring it over the nether portal, if that makes sense. And then where the small circle is around me, have another big circle around the top. Does that make any sense? It makes sense in my head, but I feel like it's not making sense when I say it. I may have something wrong with me, I'm not too sure. That, I'm going to build from that tall circle, up and over. So it's kind of like a dome then. And... Oh my god. Leave me alone. He can't get down, can he? He can't. No, he won't jump down. There we go. That's how it's done. Let's get up there. Let's start building that. And then we'll think what we do about the inner circle. I haven't made my mind up yet. It's starting to look pretty good. It looks very grand. Now that that's done, I think with the top, we're going to kind of shroud it with a bit of glass. Similar to what we did with the floor, but we'll just do it up. Which means I'm going to need a lot more glass. Like a lot more glass. Because that's seven layers, 
And if it's that whole circle plus seven layers, I got plenty of sand. What am I? Oh, I got a furnace. I'll be fine. I'm just going to go smelt all of it now. It won't be a problem. All right, now we have the glass. It's just rinse and repeat. It's the same thing. You just have to put a layer of glass, then a different layer, then a layer of glass, then a different layer. It's just great start. Absolute phenomenal start. All right, all right, let's have a look. Ta-da! Beautiful, I know. It actually looks so sick. Look at that, it's like, it's like infinity. It like keeps going. Dude, the fog effect with glass is so cool. It's one of the best things in Minecraft in my opinion. But now, to the tricky bit. We now have to fill in all these four sectors or segments with the four biomes. And Another hard part about Minecraft is to make things look natural is really difficult. So let's give it a crack. There we have it. It's done. After nearly two weeks of recording, building, editing, voiceovering, editing again, this project is complete. This was absolute hell. I was always on edge and I don't recommend this to anyone. Leave me alone. Thank you. Thank you for watching. I do appreciate it and I will see you in the next one. Bye.